All right, I know what I've done wrong on the mouth. I went through and did a Google search of men singing. <laughs> I went to photographs and I got about a million pictures of women singing, but no men, which makes a lot of sense. But anyway, anyway, um, I know what I need to do. I need to bring the mouth up a little bit and I need to work on the detail of the mouth a little bit, but I got to find the right tools to do that with. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. I'm always trying to find new items to make things a little easier in the studio. And I found this, and it's an electric igniter. And what you do is you press this button, and you can see a tiny spark right there between the uh, two points. And you put it on your thing that you want to light, and it lights it without a flame. Just a little spark. And this is rechargeable so that you don't have to ever run out of butane ever again in your lighter look at that this is great i got two of them one for my gas stove upstairs because i got one little burner that doesn't want to light and so this is going to be extremely handy but i got two of these for not too much on amazon i'll put a link in the uh comments area to this uh item it's a great it's a great little tool now this little wire tool from Ken's Tools was pointed, and it was pointed like this one here at the uh, top. I don't know if you can see that very well. But uh, I didn't want that pointed. I wanted it round. And uh, I took a needle nose pliers, and, uh, and what I did was I just put it in here and pressed down on the point. And it rounded it off. So now I've got a tool I can use. And uh, now if I can just coordinate my hands here. Sometimes you just need smaller tools. I'm going to take some Ronsonol and soften up his mouth a little bit. The best brush for doing this is an oil painter's brush because they don't, you don't lose your, uh, your uh, hairs of your brush onto the clay. It, uh, it's a finer, it's a better brush for this type of thing. You don't want to leave little tiny hairs on your clay. It, it just complicates the whole thing. They're expensive, but well worth it. Okay, I'm just going to put lift up his mouth just a little bit on the 
side. There we go. I'm trying to make him look like he's smiling. I'm using my homemade latex tool to uh, work on the eyebrow a little. He's looking down at her. One more time with the uh, Lot Ronsonol. All right, it's time to start doing his neck. I can tell I need to move his head just a little bit further to that side. better. Now his head centered on his body. All right. I'm happy with how he's turning out. I'm going to pick this up next week. Probably Tuesday because I'm going to take uh, the Memorial Day weekend off for myself. But uh, I'm going to regenerate my batteries, you might say. It's looking better. It's not there yet completely, but it's getting there. Slow but sure. All right, everybody, I'll work on the body of the figure next week and. Start putting clothes on them and all that stuff uh, next week. Good night, everybody. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Make it a safe weekend, people. Hope you enjoy your weekend with your family and friends. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.